Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you've ever been on one of these before, then you know that these are a problem. Let's fix it. Come, 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 come on. Training your favorite skill, you're training on a high bar, boom, you rip your hands. How do you fix it? How do you carry on training? How do you not lose all the progress that you've made over the last week? I'm gonna show you how, and this is how I do it. Oh, that's nasty. Wow, it's weird talking to yourself on a camera. Snap into action. So guys, you've been working really hard and your callus has finally ripped. How do you, see, this is what I lose my train of thought. It's looking at my viewers. Right, let's do that again, but do it better. Snap into action. So guys, you've been working really hard and your callus has finally ripped. Whether it's weightlifting or you're in the gymnastics and you're doing skills like me. If you're working hard enough, your callus has finally ripped. It's painful, how do you fix it? This is how I personally fix mine. As soon as you've got that rip, you're gonna wash your hands to get rid of any bacteria out of the chalk that you've been using or the bars that you've been using just to reduce the risk of infection. Once you've washed your hands, you're gonna to wanna to take any excess skin off from the rip. So here's the nasty ass video of me pulling off my rip. This is what you shouldn't do. I'd recommend waiting till the end of the training session, getting some scissors or some toenail clippers so you can get right down to the skin. I just did that for the content. <laughs> It should look like this. Over the next few days, try and keep your rip mo 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 moist. So I use a hemp cream, which is popping up there. Normally after about two to three days, I'm ready to go back onto the gloves and strap bar. People call it the polish bar. If you need straps for that, you can get them here. That's to do skills like this, to work on your technical ability on the high bar. Once you've got no pain by touching your rip, it's time to use a plumber's stone. This is a plumber's stone. This plumber's will... stone. <laughs> <laughs> what this will do is this will get rid of any dead skin that's left on that could get caught when you go back to training. It'll also round down your calluses to make them nice and smooth. After about five days, I'm usually ready to go back onto the chalk bar. If it's not quite healed by then, then I normally tape up my hands. So in conclusion, one, keep it clean. Two, Use your cream, and three, be nice and keen. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching YouTube, this has been my, no, thank you, what should I say, thank you, thank, I don't like saying YouTube. Right, this is what you do. So guys, thank you for watching. If you wanna see more content like this, click that nice red subscribe button downstairs, click on that bell icon so you get notifications whenever I post a video. Thank you, and goodbye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. I got <laughs> <laughs> and then it'll cut into the <laughs>